Hello everyone, today I wanted to give you a small tutorial on how to use the application file redirector that is built into frame 4. For this example we're gonna use the dying light uh, dev menu. My friend DevShots has released uh, his version on Twitter. As he says, we have to repack it with our base game, which is exactly what we're not gonna do today. We're gonna pull this off simply by placing the files on our hard drive and letting the AFR do the rest of the work. Okay, first of all I'm gonna prove you that I have nothing pre-installed. For that I'm gonna switch to my PS4 screen. Okay, so we finally loaded in. Uh, the dev menu should be on the extras right here. As you can see, we only have the hints and the leaderboards. So I'm gonna close the game down again and get back to PC. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually inject the frame 4 payload that has the AFR running in the background. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna use the toolbox payload injector the new version in here. I'm gonna go to the exploit host and inject the payload. I'm gonna put a little notify to make sure it's injected. And then the only other thing we need to run is actually FTP so we can store our custom files on the hard drive. that is also running. Okay, so where do we have to FTP the files to? I have a little example right here. Uh, let's minimize that for now. So you can see, for example, a file that would be stored in our sandbox of the CUSA app, whatever, would go into data, CUSA app, blah blah. So we're gonna use FileZilla to FTP this over, but you could use any other FTP client. Connect to my PS4. Navigate to the data folder. And I already prepared the extracted dev menu right here. As you can see, it's just extracted from his, uh, from his package. Image 0. Here all the data. Somewhere in here the dev menu is stored, we're just gonna replace all of these. I already prepared it by making the CUSA folder, app0, same folder here, all of the files. And we're just gonna transfer that over. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna go back on the PS4 screen. Okay, so let us get back on the home screen and launch the game again. So now that we are back in the game, let us check the same menu again. And we have the dev menu right here. Everything available. And all of that without rebuilding any packages, rebuilding any updates simply by loading a file from the hard drive. So th let us actually do this again on Black Ops 3. Um, for Black Ops 3 we're gonna replace the intro cutscene. I'm just gonna show you the default one that always plays when you start this game. Okay, so this cutscene is what we want to replace. Let's close the app again. 
Let us go back on PC. Alright, so let us open the FTP again. I prepared also the Black Ops cutscene right here. In this case, it is stored in App Zero video, and then we have the cutscene file right here. We're just gonna drag over the CUSA folder, also into data. And then I'm gonna go back on PS4 and see if it replaces our cutscene. Okay, so let us start the game. As you can see, the default intro video has been replaced with this random campaign loading screen that I took from the game files. Uh, some other things I should mention is that this is a bit limited. You won't be able to replace any eBoots or any libraries with this uh, file redirector. Those actually get loaded before you even start the game. This might be a thing for a future version, but it's not supported right now. Other than that, basically any game file you should be able to replace this way. Hope you found that information useful, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!